Hey, YouTube, what's going on? This is, uh, this is, you know, Brandon here. Um, full metal kendo. Uh, I know, I know, Sam. I know, you're just a little bitch. You're just a little bitch. Stop it, stop it. Go. If you want, if you're gonna go, just go. Okay, don't fucking sit there and bug me because you wanna... I don't know what you want, dude. I'm trying to record a video and you're interrupting me. What am I supposed to do? What do, what do I do in that situation? Go. 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 Anyway, uh... God damn it, this fucking kid. You're pissing me off, dude. I'm trying to record a video and you're just being up my ass. I know, you're just like... You're just like, you know, fucking weird, man. Anyway, guys, um, this is a bit of a story here. Story time. Um, how I know I'm asexual. Now, a lot of people have questioned me over this. They question me on YouTube and all that stuff, and it's weird that you question me. No one on my Facebook timeline questioned my asexuality. The fact that I came out as asexual. None of them question it. They, they say, oh, I mean, that makes sense. You know, uh, you, you do you. Uh, you know, I, I just had one of my cousins uh, basically tell me, yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah, good. good for you. You do you, you know. That's, that's all I can say. And uh, that's what I'm doing, you know. And uh, people question it. You know, it's not really a choice thing. It's just, all my life, I've been kind of different, you know, been kind of different. Um, people, some people think that's a bad thing, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing, okay? They're, Steve Jobs was different, okay? Bill Gates was different, okay? These, a lot, there's a lot of people out there who are very different from everybody else, like the entirety of the world, you know? They're, they're different. They think differently. And that's the point. Um, so when I was in 6th grade, you would think somebody in 6th grade or 5th grade or 6th grade would have been dating. But I never dated. You know? I never dated until I was in high school. You know? And uh, when I was in high school, kind of, you know, kind of forced it. But anyway, back to my... Uh, story about sixth grade. Um, somebody asked me, "Who do you have a crush on?" Okay, and I, I, I legitimately point blank said, "Nobody, dude. Nobody." And this was a kind of a bullying thing where they tried to bully me. Uh, do you have a crush on her? I'm like, no, I don't even know this woman. Well, actually, I knew her. I knew her name, but I didn't know. You know, I, I didn't know her well enough to be able to like her. And and I forget who it was anyway. Uh, I don't even know her name anymore. I guess I technically don't know her really well at, at all anymore. So I didn't talk to her. She was one of the popular kids. They, they were just bullies, whatever. Um, oh, are you gay? It's like, man, I, I don't like anybody. You know, I don't like anybody. And and that's a very harsh thing to say, you know, when you're when you're a kid is to call somebody gay, you know. Especially if they they don't you know like I've only dated women since since high school. I've only dated women. I've only gone on dates with women. Now like I was saying, but but the point of this entire story here about sixth grade is that my first answer to, do you have a crush, was that I did not have a crush on anybody. And that was the truth. That was the truth. I did not, I did not even look at dating. I did not even think about dating. You know, I, I was, I was, I was basically happy just being by myself. You know, I didn't date. I didn't, I didn't think about that shit. You know, and there's a reason why, because I really wasn't interested. I wasn't interested. 
after that, I kind of forced it, you know, I kind of forced it. I was like, I was like, okay, I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta try to be straight white male so people don't think I'm gay. So I forced it for several years, you know, and no, I'm not, see, the thing is, I'm not gay. I'm not, um. You know, I've never gone for the D, so to speak. And I love, some of you said, you know, oh, he he hasn't gotten the D wet. I, or at least one of you did. It was weird. And I'm just like, I don't go after the D, man. I don't go after, I don't even go after, I don't even go after the P word. I don't even go after that, man. I don't, I don't do anything. You know, I just, I work and I I come home and I sleep when I can. You know, and I watch TV. That's what I do. You know, today, just today, like this morning at 2 a.m., I, I just sat in my, in my, on my couch and fucking slept for four hours and woke up at 6.30 a.m. Okay? Slept for four hours. I mean, you think that's not, not good, but, you know, that's, that's good for me. You know, and I didn't even have to take my medication that I take for sleeping. I did not even have to take that because I literally, I literally was so tired. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. I'm going to bed. And I go to bed. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing when you don't have to take medication. That you usually take for sleep. With the sleep. Uh, when, when you don't have to take that to go to sleep. It's a beautiful thing. It is. It's a beautiful thing, man. And uh, I swear to God, that medication, if I stay up too long, will have a negative side effect where my eyes start twitching and stuff. I, I realize that's what, it's, what it is because uh, I was always wondering why that fucking happens. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? Why am my eyes start twitching? My eyes don't really twitch when I'm, uh, I, I can stay up as late as I want when, without taking the medication and my eyes won't twitch that much. I mean, they twitch a, a little bit. They'll be like, like really hot but then I can go to bed you know then when I go to bed and lay down for a little bit it will uh stop and you know sometimes I'll take the medication if I'm not tired at a certain time you know I'll take it just you know <sighs> honestly I've been going to bed late in the morning um but anyway so yeah so point it being I kind of forced it you know kind of forced the um, kind of forced the thing. Now, be aware, there is some sexuality involved. Like, I do look at some women, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, she's pretty attractive, you know? I think there's a difference between, I, I think there's a difference between um, sexual attraction, like wanting to fuck everything, and, uh, aesthetic attraction, you know, liking the ways a l woman l l looks, you know, I, I do have that. I do have, I do have the aesthetic attraction, definitely. Um, I do definitely have, um, I do have the, um, romantic attraction, but I don't really have sexual attraction. I don't, I don't. When I talk to a girl, first thing I think of is not, is not, oh, I want to fuck you, you know? That's not the first thing that comes to my mind. The first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, I'll give it another shot. You know, that's what I'll do. And then it doesn't work out, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess that's too bad. Um, see, I, I don't, I don't think of, I don't think oh I gotta have sex I gotta have sex you know I don't think that you know I'm just like sex and if it happens it happens man and that's how I've always been you know I've always been like I mean granted when I was a teenager maybe not always but when I was a teenager I was like I was like I gotta lose my virginity because it's it's the ultimate right to being a man and then you have sex and it's not it's not anything special I mean it's awesome at first it's awesome at first don't get me wrong it's not, wait, when you date people and they're not really good in bed, 
Sorry, I, I, I don't like sex. I, I don't, I don't like sex. I, all the women I've dated have been terrible in bed. Okay? Okay? All of the women I've dated have not really been good in bed. And I don't know what's wrong, you know? I don't know. I didn't, for a long time, I did not lo know what was wrong. You know, I was like, I was like, I was like, fuck. Come on, babies, what are you doing? Stop trying to get in the closet. I know, I know, you're just like, you're just like, I'm fucking dumb, I know. You're dumb. You're dumb, baby, I know. <sighs> I shouldn't call that cat dumb. Even though she is, she's fucking, she's fucking dumb. She's on that other shit, man. She's on that other shit. Anyway, I did not, I did not know. What was wrong? You know, what was wrong with me? What was wrong with, um, what was wrong with the sex? You know, I, I did not know. And it didn't really hit me until I heard, you know, I had heard things about asexuality. And, come on, come on. Fuck you. Fuck you, iPhone. Anyway, so, uh, basically, basically, I had heard some things about asexuality. I had heard... Now, in popular culture, obviously, asexuality exists. For example, Dumbledore, he could be seen as asexual towards the later half of his life, or the later part of his life, I guess. M majority of his life. And... J.K. Rowling has even said that he really became asexual after the whole Grindelwald thing. But honestly speaking, I would I would not say that Dumbledore is asexual. Because number one, the guy had feelings for uh, Grindelwald. Now, whether he had sexual feelings for Grindelwald is debated. But if he did have sexual feelings for Grindelwald, that's more of the demisexual side, or or that could be full on gay, you know. I mean, yeah, that's what it could be. Uh, asexuality is having no sexual feeling uh, or sexual attraction at all, um, or in some cases having minor sexual attraction to people. I like gray asexuality, which I classify myself as. A gray asexual, because I only feel sexual attraction um, a little bit, not 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 much, but yeah. So it didn't really hit me until I uh, until like a year ago that I I might be asexual. You know, I might be asexual because uh, I honestly every time someone is. Show me pics of girls, you know, and they're like, oh, isn't this girl hot? I mean, she's fucking hot. I would fuck her. And I'm just like, okay. Okay. I, you you would fuck her. I mean, they're just looking at women thinking they want to fuck them. And I'm just like, okay, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. I... This has been something that goes on. I don't look at every woman and think I want to fuck. Sure, I I act that way, or I did act that way, because I'm trying to... Basically, basically what you do is you regret being the way you are, right? You regret being the way you are. You regret... Um, you know, not thinking every woman's hot and want to fuck them because you don't feel normal. You don't feel normal. So, essentially, what's going on is I was feeling sort of regretted. You know, I I don't I don't want to be seen as as abnormal or weird. So I'm just gonna say, yeah. When I was younger, I was like, eh, I'm gonna think about you know having sex with women, and then 
there came a point in my life where I was like, you know, I really don't want to have sex with some of these women. And I don't know why I did, you know? Like, there was one girl in high school I had a really big crush on, and it was not a sexual crush. Okay, I never had sexual feelings towards her. I never looked at her and it was like, oh yeah, I've got to fuck her. No, I just, I just liked her personality, you know? I just liked her personality and I liked uh, the way she looked, you know? I did not... I did not think sexual feelings towards her. In fact, I think sexually she's about a, probably a five or, or four. You know, four or five. So, that's sexually, obviously. You know, you know, you know, she didn't have, like, you know, uh, and she wasn't really hot. So, uh, yeah. That's essentially what's, what's going on. Uh, anyway. So yeah, um, just things like that, you know, and, uh, obviously that's been going on most of my life, man. I, I, I don't really feel, you know, sexual attraction that much. Um, you know, I, in some cases, maybe, but, you know, I don't look at every woman and I'm like, I want to fuck her. And, and one of the things that somebody brought up, they said, you're not asexual by choice. And he's right about that, but not for the reasons he thought, you know, he's, he's right about that in the sense that I'm asexual by nature, not by choice. Okay. And at first I'm just like, yes, I am. But then I started to think about it. And I'm like, this guy's right. This guy's on to something. I'm asexual by nature, not by choice. And I know he's going to be in the fucking comment section. He's going to be like, oh, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Come on, man. You, 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 you literally, you literally, you literally fucking did this to yourself, man. You're just like, you're just like trying to troll me. And you're failing <laughs> miserably. And, uh, yeah, because cause he's right, you know, he's right. He's absolutely right. I'm not asexual by choice. It's, uh, my nature, you know, my nature, my, uh, my desire to, if I never have sex again, uh, that's fine with me, you know, that's fine with me, man. That's fine with me. I don't care. Um, if I never date at all, I'm not losing anything, any sleep over it, uh, you know? And, and the thing is, one of these trolls, I know it was a troll, tried to message me, okay, pretending to be a girl named Emily, oh my god, Emily, maybe, maybe to try to pretend to be underage, and, uh, the funny thing is, uh, she was like, oh my god, I think you're so cute, and I'm like, I don't give a, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I don't give a fuck if you think I'm cute, I'm blocking your ass, and I told and I basically told her, her, aka him, most likely. Yeah, you're being blocked, um, and because you're a stalker. Goodbye. 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 So, this is always that. Uh, so yeah, it's. That's how I know I'm asexual because I've dealt with these things. I've experienced these things and I've, you know, I, I still have never had really good sex. Honestly, every time I've had sex, it's been, it's been bullshit. Every time I dated a girl, the, the worst part of it was the sex, you know? Granted, I, I think sex feels good, you know? I think sex feels great, but, but the fact of the matter is I've never had good sex. These women do not know how to fuck a guy, first of all. And second of all, I mean, most of them just are just sort of submissive. It's like, it's like weird. Now, that's not to say that if they're not submissive, if they are not submissive, uh, that's even any better, because it might not be. Maybe I'll never enjoy sex. Maybe I'll never enjoy sex. Maybe I'll just be like, okay, if you want to be in a relationship, like, say, say I meet a woman, and I tell her I'm asexual. 
right? And she's just like, oh, well, I guess that means we can't date. It's like, why can't we? I, I'm heteromantic, and that means I can have feelings for people who are, um, obviously, they're going to miss the sex, right? They're going to they're gonna be like, I don't, I don't want to have, I don't want to, you know, if a woman wanted to have sex with me, that that's fine. But I doubt I would enjoy it anymore. You know, I doubt I would enjoy it. Honestly speaking, I would not. You know, I would not. I may never enjoy it, unfortunately, and that's and that's kind of, that kind of sucks, man. That kind, that kind of that fucking sucks, man. You know, I've never enjoyed sex, and I've never and I'm never going to enjoy it. You know, I, I, I'm not gonna. I lied to myself for years, thinking that oh well maybe when I meet the right one, and I never met the right one. You know? And then it occurred to me that I was asexual um, a year ago because I'm just like, I don't care about sex, man. I, I, I never did. I never, I never really truly cared about it. It was just a way for me to seem like I'm cool. You know? And that's the sad truth. Anyway, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my story, story time, um, about my sexuality. And I hope you guys are, um, uh, having a good day, you know? Alright, see ya.